Sometimes we can be just lucky in business and in other things, but is there an underlying substance to it? Can we continue to repeat that success? And I guess sustainability in business performance is one of those sorts of key things. So as an example, two weekends back, I went to the races in, uh, in Mauritius, a little out of the way, I suppose. But nevertheless, Mauritius race course was established in 1812 by one Colonel Draper. So it's its bicentenary year and the crowd was there and uh, the main race was sponsored by Shell uh, Oil Company in Mauritius and I was invited along to their corporate box. So it would be just foolish not to go, wouldn't it, with all that food and wine and uh, atmosphere. So the fourth race came along and I'd only just arrived and I thought, well, what should we put some money on? Well, my sister in Brisbane, having heard that I was going to the races, said, oh, race five, number six. Now, she had no clue on this at all, but just decided that I should put a hundred rupees or something on the race for her. So race four, no better informed, and uh, in finance, if you're no better informed, take the, the result from the previous race. I didn't know what that was, so I picked number six. And it came in handsomely. And people asked me, well, that, how did you do that? And I said, oh, I just like the look of it. And uh, then race six, I had to, sorry, race five, I had to put the money on number six as instructed my sis by my sister. And it won very, very handsomely. And at that stage, I was the expert. So following the random walk hypothesis and not knowing any better, I put my money on number six in the sixth race. And I should have known better, 666, the devil's number. And uh, it was going to come unstuck, and it did. So I lost all my money. But fortunately, I didn't tell the people that I was going for six again. So my reputation was left untarnished, even if my wallet wasn't. So as we enter the business awards season, we have to think about those businesses that are going to get awards for excellence and ask the question, well, how many of those that got awards for excellence in the last decade are still in business? How many of those got awards in the last decade have actually grown, employed more people, expanded the pie, and made a real contribution to New Zealand and our GDP? Or was the contribution turning up in the night with a black tie on? Or, in the case of women, very high shoes and they have a lot of difficulty getting up the steps onto the stage. And so it is with climbing the success ladder in business. It is not an easy thing. We need to undertake the right sort of research. We need to ensure that we are travelling down a sustainable pathway. And my feeling about business again in New Zealand is that we just do not put the effort into thinking through the longer term strategic plans and we're certainly not good at the operational plans for the year coming and so it is that we have low productivity and an underperforming business sector.